Yes, yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's the Earn and ISO show. If you don't know now yet, no, we back at it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first and foremost, for the people that took part in uh, viewing us on a live that we did. You know what I mean? We thank y'all. We appreciate y'all. Actually, one of the, um, because we said that we was going, we said that we was going to do something about like this. You know what I mean? But we, uh, I reached out to one of the, I guess you could say, owners of the uh, workers at the, um, uh, Barbershop, you know what I mean, who sent us to his 50 greatest rappers of all time. They said, please don't disclose the name and location of the barbershop because he don't stand by the list himself. Okay. He all said, right. you know what I mean, we collectively came down with the list, but I don't stand by the list. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But they said that gotcha. they enjoyed they enjoy the content. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. You know what right. I mean? They, they constantly play, you know what I mean, a podcast within the barbershop. You know what I mean? It, it always get them something to talk about. You know what I mean? It, he said it helped him with his business. People come in there, you know what I mean, on days that they not even getting their hair cut just to listen to the podcast. So we are one of the podcasts that they keep in rotation, you know what I mean, while they um they while they run it. So yeah, I mean we appreciate that. Uh but let's get into the pot the way we get into the pot. How was your week? How was your weekend? Man, everything was 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 great, man. I can't complain, man, because man, thank y'all. Thank y'all for the views we get, you know what I mean? Um well, by the time you listen to this, this is gonna probably be what, two the Tuesday episode, probably. Yes, sir. So we recorded on Sunday, but we did a live yesterday. Ern told me that joint is like almost at a million. So by the time y'all listen to this on Tuesday, that joint should be over a million, man. But right. thank y'all to have be like oh, at almost a million within like 24 hours. You know what I mean? Almost doing a million, 24 hours on the live. That's crazy to me, man. So I just appreciate y'all. Oh, yeah. And thank y'all because, you know, I'm kind of like, I just be like moving and shaking and then like recording and stuff like that. So I don't really be paying attention to the analytics and all that. I just ask Earn from time to time on YouTube. Do us a favor, even if you even if you listen to us on audio, still just go subscribe to us on YouTube and do us that favor anyway. Right. If you, you know what I mean? It, they will come. You know what I mean? So so I appreciate that, man. That kind of like caught me by surprise because I mean I already knew that they was playing games with the numbers, trying to make it like our numbers is not really what it is. That's why when y'all go to the YouTube page. Because we're really not in the algorithm like that. So people got to like, you really got to like punch us in and search us. And you can tell that's what people do to find us. Because we're not naturally in the algorithm. You know what I mean? Because they, they took, they been took us out of the algorithm and slow, try to slow us down. You know what I mean? But that ain't slowing us down because people coming to find, people finding us. Right. So all that type of stuff that, you know, people, people do to try to slow you down or quote unquote what they call shadow ban and you know take you out the algorithm and all that. Oh yeah. None of that is working because people is coming and looking for us, you know what I'm saying, and finding us. So we appreciate all y'all for that. We do we do even better on audio. So thank y'all to all the audio listeners, you know what I mean? Cause at the end of the day, podcast is the audio, but we do appreciate the love we get on uh YouTube. You know what I mean? Despite what people try to make the problem to be try to make it look like what we doing, we doing way better than that. So thank y'all yeah. man. You're right, definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? I uh, appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for all the support, you know what I'm saying, that, that y'all give us, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? And we're going to continue to do what we do and continue to go and grow. Uh, as y'all know, you know what I mean? This episode will come out Tuesday, but as y'all know, you know what I mean? Uh, Donald Trump, you know what I'm saying? Uh, presidential electee running for the president again, uh, was uh, shot at while throwing a rally in um, Pitt, Pennsylvania. Uh this is the hip hop episode, so you know what I mean. My suggestion to him and his team: next time my man Trump come out to his rally, he should walk out to many men. Yeah, you know I mean that'd be the listen, walkout song. Listen, man, you already seen the joint Fifty Cent already performed as many men at not, not me at the concert. Oh, you now did. Me with the picture, with the picture of his body with Donald Trump face on the girl to not try. Yeah. yeah, hey, listen, yeah. there you go, yeah, dog. Fifty already on it. Now I mean, Fifty already go. on that joint. Yeah, you know I mean? mean, many men. That's the that's the walkout. That's the walkout song right now. Yeah, you know I mean, but luckily enough, everybody was safe, everybody was cool. Yeah, you know I mean, nobody was harmed. Yeah, you know I'm saying, and man, yeah, you know I mean, we keep going. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, let's go to this top fifty greatest rappers of all time. This was entered in by uh, a barber shop. Yeah, you know I mean, a couple of listeners that yeah, you know I mean, got together thirty dudes and they, yeah, you know I mean, put together a list and agreed upon each spot on everybody. So I'm gonna break this down right here. We got number one, Jay Z. Number two, I should have started from 50 to one, yeah, should yeah, I? Yeah. My bad, I'm sorry. Let me go from 50 to one. 50, Lloyd Banks, 49, Busta Rhymes, 48, 50 Cent, 
47, Rick Ross. 46, LL Cool J. 45, The Game. 44, Big Pun. Uh, 43, Eight Ball. 42, Stack Bundles. 41, Mace. 40, AZ. 39, Ice Cube. 38, Killer Mike. 37, Lil Wayne. 36, Bun B. 35, Cameron. 34, Snoop. 33, Jeezy. 32, Big Boy. 31, Cool G Rap. 30, Most Def. 29, Prodigy. 28, Eminem. 27, Method Man. 26, Twister. 25, Raekwon. 24, T.I. 23, Drake. 22, DMX. 21, Royce59. Uh, 20, Lupe Fiasco. 19, J. Cole. 18, Common. 17, Andre3000. 16, Scarface. 15, Pac. 14, Redman. 13, Pusha T. 12, Rakim. 11, Beanie Siegel. 10, Kendrick Lamar. 9, Ghostface. 8, Biggie. 7, Jada Kiss. 6, Fabulous. 5, Black Thought. 4, Styles P. 3, Joe Button. 2, Nas. And number 1, Jay-Z. This is their 50th greatest rappers of all time. Now, my man sent this joint in. He said that we had to squeeze Prodigy in there because he know that you're a fan and he ain't want them to roast. He ain't want you to roast their list. Yeah, you know I mean, a a as bad. So they squeezed Prodigy in there. They all had to agree on where where P gonna go. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So yeah, you know I mean, Prodigy came in at 29. I think we read we read it off the um off the mic. Um, I must have missed Big Pun because you asked where Big Pun was at. And I see he was on the list, but Big Pun came in at 44 on their list. You know what I mean? As you can see, they are West Coast based because they got a lot of West Coast rappers on there. You know what I mean? That you probably would be shocked. I mean, that you probably wouldn't put on your list as well. But you know what I mean? They they are they're a West Coast based um, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, spot. So uh <laughs> it was a wild list. Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to yeah. Joe. They got Joe at three. Yo, the three got Joe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they got Joe you know at three. Mean? Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> they got Joe with three, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, listen, man. Um, shout, first of all, shout, shout, shout to the barber shop. Know what I mean, they, yeah, they no wanted, to, they wanted to remain anonymous. Yeah. They <laughs> so we're not going to shout them out. And then let's tell you, like, this is not one person's list. Right. No. This is all together. All People together. all together. Yeah. Because some of y'all may listen to that. Listen, like, yo, this don't. All right. Some of the names on there make a lot of names on there make sense, but the order they in. Remember, this is all together. Now I mean, a lot of people come together and try right. to make one list. But um. It just show you how different spots, you know what I mean, view, yeah. view, view music differently than we do. We East yeah. Coast based, they yeah. West Coast based, because yeah. they got Styles at four, but they got Kiss at seven. I don't know if on the East Coast we would put, not to say Kiss, not to say Styles would make a list, but that we would put Styles over Kiss. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you you got people that, the, the, the East Coast, you got people that, they ahead of um a cool G rap. A lot of East Coast people wouldn't put wouldn't put Kiss or Styles before Cool G Rap. And we love Kiss you. and Styles. Yeah, but on I the got East you. Coast, you we right. would, a lot of people would have Cool G Rap before Styles and Kiss. Yeah, you right. You know, we love, not, 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 I mean, I mean, we love Styles and Kiss, but East Coast, they would probably even say it they self. Right. They would probably put Cool G Rap ahead of them they self. Right, I feel you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because cool, to me, Cool G Rap being in what the 30s is to me is low. Like I said, you know what I mean? 31. This yeah. is the thing about the list, you know what I mean? It's from a different region than us. You know what I'm saying? Right. If we if we if we made a list, the list would be different. It'd be some people from all over the place, but it wouldn't be that not, not like that. So Yeah, the order I mean, definitely wouldn't be like that. I mean, um And this ain't no and this ain't no diss to Joe, but I don't know if they threw the three in there because <laughs> Like people make lists, they they've always put him three on the list. Yeah. So I don't know if that's like the running thing to do. We are gonna put him three because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because Joe could rap, and I mean I know that as time go on, and a lot of people starting to know him for the podcast, and they know that he was a rapper, but didn't listen to him. Like as time go on, a lot of people didn't 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 listen to his music. You know what I'm saying? Right. As time go on, a lot of them only know him from being a podcaster. You know, time time going move on quick. You know what I'm saying? So somebody that was, somebody that's, you figure he came out in the early 2000s, 2024. So you figure somebody who's 21 years old, he came out when? Maybe like a year or two around by the time you was born. Right. So you might not have even listened to him when you were growing up. You know what I'm saying? So we did because we older, so. Yeah. But him being at three. 
I mean, he probably agree like I ain't gonna be in no three. I mean, he probably appreciate it, but he probably himself might say three. Right, right. I feel you on that. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, don't get it messed up. He can rap though. Yeah. He can rap for for all those who probably ain't who 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 might be like I said younger and all that who might never actually listen to him as a rapper only know him from doing like media and all that and content. No, he can rap. He get busy. Yeah, he do. Hell yeah. But um, yeah um. What else is on? They got, they got, they got Fab Above Kiss. Um, I could see some people's viewpoint of that mm-hmm. because Fab, we all know they both can spit bars, Hell right? Yeah. Right. A lot of people will give Kiss the edge in just being a barbarian, but people will give Fab the edge and knowing understand how to walk the line of you need a record that's gonna play. Mm. You need a record that's gonna play on the radio, you need a record that's gonna play in the club. So I don't know if I don't know if that's what edged it out. Right. I, now I mean I don't know if that's what kind of like put him ahead of ahead of Kiss or a lot of people because that is the thing about Fabulous. A lot of people let me just say this. A lot of people need to follow his blueprint. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A lot of people need to follow his blueprint. I ain't gonna say no names because then you got some goddamn rappers all upset and they got damn feelings. But it's it's people who will probably be better. It would be better served to look at Fabulous's career and, like I said, following what he did. You always know he could rap. From the first time you ever heard him, you know he could rap. He's one of the artists that understands that he has to make records too. Right. I just can't rap. I just I just can't spit a thousand bars for the block. And then that's how I survive. That's how I'm gonna survive. No. He really did everything. Right. You know what I mean? He was one of them guys that did, yo, he did, he did everything. He was good, he's good at everything. You know what I mean? He can spit, he can spit bars. He can, I mean, he can spit bars on just a freestyle, just for the sake of freestyling. He can give you, he can give you songs, but they be mixtape songs. He can give you songs that you put on your album. Right. He can go jump on a song with somebody else, an R and B person, a pop person, anybody, and then give you a solid verse. Right. You don't gotta be a barbarian on an R and B verse, doing an R and B verse. You don't have to do that. A lot of people will be served to better to. Follow his blueprint of how he been doing his thing. Cause a lot of dudes that can rap, but they not having no, they not gonna have the mainstream success because they too busy worrying about being a barbarian. Right. And then you got some dudes that he got like Fab is like the perfect mix. You know what I mean? That's why when he did, when he did like more mainstream songs, he wasn't mad at them because they kind of had a bop to him too. He did a lot of R and B verses. Yeah, I don't. He did. I mean, I don't at this point do we do we crown him as king of the R of the R and B verse at this point? Over Ja. Yeah, but I mean it might be because no, you got I mean we talking about Ja, we ain't talking about his own songs. It's talking about him being on other people's songs. Okay, all right, all right, got you. Okay, 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 okay. All right. At at this point with the longevity he had, do you is he like king of the R and B verse? Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. At this point? Yeah. Because you go off the top of your head, probably done done that better than long. Not, not me or longer than that. So longer than him, so. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 he's very good at walking that line of, you know, I make the songs I need to make for the radio and you know, so I can perform, do the shows and all that. But he still would take time and put time into you know freestyles making mixtapes so it's a lot of people that gotta like like I said a lot of people will benefit from following his blueprint yeah you right you know what I mean cause we, we got we got people that's we got we got people that's trying to be for, they trying to probably force pop songs it's like you can do an R&B song or you can do a song a mainstream song but still be yourself he showed you can still be yourself and then still make sure you have a record that's going to play right. in a club or play on the radio. But you don't feel like it's not you. You see right, what I'm saying? Right, right, And then still always show that I, I get busy. You know what I mean? Right. So, 
Yeah, we got to give him credit for that. Now, I mean, he is phenomenal in that way. We understand we say, well, he, he above such and such person. He above such and such person. That's because you might feel like, I mean, he deserves to be, when you when, when you get to him, he deserves to be on people's list. He does. He does. And, and, and he kind of like, he kind of like falls into the, the LeBron thing of, well, He's just, he's good and that's it. You know how like LeBron is like was like the best player, but then he didn't always win an MVP. You right. know, he's like the best player because he because he make it look easy. It's just him being him. Right. But when you think about that, that was like phenomenal to do. True. You know what I mean? To make sure he had records playing on the radio. Make sure he had records playing. I mean, this songs with other artists, pop song, pop song, R and B songs, and still. Gave the barbershop something. So right. are you right? Now I mean, but then you just you just take it for granted and then people just be leaving them off lists. You just take it for granted that he was just that dope. Because you know the I mean? standard that he set, you gotta outdo yourself. So you gotta outdo yourself now. I mean, same shit like LeBron. You gotta outdo yourself to get an MVP. You have to be better than you was last year. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that was fucking a top tier player. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, you know I'm saying, uh, of course, we know, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say that they living in the moment, but of course, I, I figured that, you know what I mean? By them being a West Coast base, you know what I mean? Spot, Kendrick would have squeezed in at the number 10. Drake way down at 23. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is game on there? No, I did not see the game's name on there at all. Let me go back because I, I did. So they West Coast cats and they ain't got game on there? No. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe somebody, maybe somebody wanted to do it, but they couldn't agree upon what spot they wanted to squeeze him in. And you be like, well, put him here, but we got this person right here. We can't, yeah, you know I'm saying. So maybe they just like, well, we can't put him at this spot. Let's just not put him in there at all. We don't know where, yeah, you know I mean, because like they, it was 30 dudes that came together and put this list together. So yeah, but you, but you, but you can't. I mean, I know you're talking about greatest. I don't know. I know people feel like, because to me, I feel like. West Coast, and then like I said, you know I mean we from we from the East Coast, we're not from West Coast. So I don't know how a lot of West Coast people make make me feel about him. To me, he was one of the he he was he was one of the dopest dudes. Yeah, he came up at a time where it wasn't where it, where it really wasn't any West Coast rappers. Exactly. So yeah. that's what I'm saying that I don't know if people count that as we can't just say he one of the greatest because he filled the void at a time when we 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 we, we had like a gap. Right. See what I mean? Right. Because that's what that's exactly what I was thinking about. I don't know if people just feel like, well, we can't put him on there because we just gonna say that he one of the greatest just because he had he came at a time where it was like a few years where it was like a gap and he was like the only person that was representing. Right. Like I said, I'm not from the West Coast, so I don't know how West Coast people feel about him. True. Now I mean, I'm from the East Coast, but I even I thought like I'm like, damn, I just is game on there? No. You know what I mean? No game, but they got banks at fifty. But now you gonna front Banks. The last joint Banks put out, he killed that joint. That shit was slept on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the last yeah, because Banks, yeah, like I said, it's he can he can rap. Like I said, he had to be more. He was bigger than what if he if he would have followed. He's one of the people that that might be would would have served better to follow like the fabulous type of blueprint. Right. Even though he did have a song here here and there. After like the whole G Unit thing kind of like calmed down, and they kind of like and and and, 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 and that kind of like he like moved off the side, started doing his own thing like with his with self. But yeah, like he wanted people like yo, you can't can nobody say you can't rap, right? No, no, I mean I don't know what you're listening to if you say you can't rap, but if you're not if you're not sticking to mainstream, I, I don't know. Maybe he just or maybe he just. Comfortable where he was at. Yo, I just love the music. I want to make the music I want to make. Right. I don't want to have to worry about trying to make no radio record or none of that. I don't know. You know what I mean? Some people may just be comfortable where they at. You know what I mean? They may not feel like, I mean, I'm not I'm, I'm not going to be worried about getting played in the club. Right. I ain't worried about it because I heard one time I was watching, um I don't know if it's a documentary or something like that. Based, but, but Nas was talking and Nas was like, I wonder how I feel to be Drake. Where it's like, 
you can't go nowhere without listening to yourself. He's mm. like, when I go out, I be wanting, you know what I mean? I, I'm, it's good because I can make the music I want to make and go perform and all that. But when I go out or go to the club or go somewhere, yeah, I want to listen to everybody else. Right. He was like, I wonder how I feel to be him where as soon as you go in the club, you just start playing your stuff. You done heard it a million, cause I, and I understand what he mean. Like, you probably done heard this joint a million times. Right. And then when you go out, the second that somebody see you, they just start playing your music. No, you still are a fan of music. You might want to listen to other people's music. You know what I mean? Right, right. So so when I said that, like, damn, when I feel it be Drake, that probably get tired some of. All right, you already done heard it a million times for anybody else ever heard it because you're the one that made it. Then when you put it out, okay. And then you might want to go out and listen to other people's music and the first thing people start doing is start playing your records. Right. That got to be tiresome to hear. So I understand when he said that, you know what I mean? I just went off on that. I can't remember why I said that, though. What was I talking about? You are talking about Banks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who knows? He might say, well, I'm comfortable doing me and I'm not, I'm not trying to worry about whether I get something that's going to play in the club or play on the radio. I'm not worried about that at this point. You know what I mean? Right. I want to make music, the type of music I want to make when I want to make it. And he might be comfortable doing that. Yeah, I feel you on that one. You know what I mean? People might be comfortable <laughs> doing that. Yeah, I feel you on that one. You right, you right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Rick Ross above 50 Cent. I actually, rap wise, I actually agree with that. Okay. Even though Fifty may be a bigger artist. Okay. As far as actually list, actually listening, actually sitting there and listening to somebody, I've I have listened to Ross way more than I listen to Fifty. Okay. 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 I have. I feel you on that. I, I have. That's not a slight to Fifty, but yeah. All right, you might be a bigger art. Now, I mean, you might be a bigger artist, a bigger celebrity. You know what I mean? In the world. But, but Ross was Ross was solid. Yeah. Ross had a run that was incredible, man. Yeah. A run that was incredible, and made sure he put other people on. Hell yeah. So, you know what I mean, salute to Ross. Hell yeah. They got uh, you know what I mean. A lot of people always put Wayne up in their top ten. They got Wayne at thirty seven. Um. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's because I don't know how you know I mean old these guys are. Not, right, right. Not many age range. He might be different age ranges and all that. So he's definitely on the list. Cause Wayne most definitely when he, he had his run, he he kind of solidified that he was the he was like the 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 voice of like and like the main the main person of like the generate the, the generation before like drill came. Okay, yeah. No you know what I mean? He no was doubt. like the number one dude that people would got influenced and then Drill came and kind of like changed that. Right. But, you know what I mean? Before like the whole Drill movement and all that came and that style came, yo, a lot of people, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people might have modeled they self after Wayne and was influenced by Wayne. Right. I agree with you on that one. I agree with you, you on that You know what I mean? One. So, Wayne did have a run too. Wayne had a... Uh, a mixtape run. I know as time go on, a lot of people like forget because you know time because time moves on. The time right. moves on very very quick. It does. But um, Wayne had an incredible run too. Yeah, hell yeah. Wayne had an incredible run. Man, Wayne had Wayne got a Hall of Fame career, a Hall of Fame run just with mixtapes when no ceilings was dropping. I can't feel my face yet. Wayne, Wayne so, and Drama, they was they was killing shit for a minute. Yeah, so. I know, I know, I know that time move on very fast in life, but yeah, you know what I mean. Wayne, Wayne deserves to be on that list. I feel you. Yeah, you know I'm saying, uh, they got your man Prodigy at 29. I mean, thank you for throwing them in there. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> thank you for cooking for them, man. You know, that's, appreciation. <laughs> you know what I mean, that's my favorite MC of all time. You know what I mean, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, Prodigy was right. They got him right below Eminem. Um. I mean, it don't make a difference to me. Prodigy is my favorite rapper. I feel you. Okay, okay. Prodigy was spitting that shit, dog. If you go back and listen to, you go back and listen to um, Mob Deep in the ages they were when they were saying what they were saying. You talking about dudes that was 19, 20, 21 years old saying the stuff that they rhyming the way they was rhyming, yo. So a lot of people talk that this person's young, that person's young. No, some people just gifted. You know what I'm saying? Can you yeah. can listen to the stuff now. You listen to the stuff now and be like, damn, dude was only like 20 when he did this joint. Right. He was only like 19 when he did this joint. 
when he's making this. Right. You know what I mean? That's their ages. Nas was only, Nas wasn't even 21 yet. You know what I'm saying? Nas right. was only 19, 20 years old. You know what I mean? When you think about it, Big and Pop, early 20s. Yeah. Yeah, you Rhyming, right. rhyming the way they was rhyming. I was I was listening I was listening to um because you know um I said um Prodigy is my favorite MC my my beat was my favorite group I was listening to so I was like a big fan of like Queensbridge everybody that came out of Queensbridge and all that so I was listening to some of the stuff and I and I and I got back listening to some I ain't heard in years I ain't heard some songs in years from um from Killer Kids okay. And you talking about people ages, they teenagers, and listen to the way they rapping. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to Killer Shot. I think now Killer Shot passed away, unfortunately. But I was listening to that, and I was like, "Yo, who just teenagers, yo?" You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, now, now when you think about the ages and stuff that people would, now, now me stuff was sent, people were saying, the ages they were is like incredible, man. So I understand that we are more, you know, people, because everywhere else, people think that, you know, East Coast dudes think they like the leaders and all that, and they better than everybody else, and don't nobody else matter. And if it's not from, if it's not from New York, Jersey, or Philly, it don't matter. I'm not one of them people, you know what I'm saying? I listen to stuff from all over the place, so I'm not no East Coast elitist. I don't automatically think somebody is better because they're from New York or they're from over here. Or they're from the tri-state area or whatever in the hell with everybody else. I've never been that. You know what I mean? Because I always listen to all types of hip hop. Like I said, when we I grew up having to watch videos and wait for videos mm-hmm. and taping them. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I come from listening to everything. You know what I mean? So yeah, but when when you start thinking about the ages of some of these dudes, when they was making their music, when they was making their music, when they first came out, the ages of some of them, man, is like incredible to me, man. Right. You know what I mean? You talking about Buster Rhymes said he got signed in. He said he got signed in like 89? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. I was in like elementary school. Yeah. You know what I mean, that's how, you talking about the longevity? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right you about that. You talking about longevity? So some, you know what I mean? So that's wild to me, man. That's yeah. wild to me to think about somebody. Yeah, man. You think, when you think about that, some of them joints, like I said, is is it's 2024. Was that the 30? 30, 30, it's the 30 year anniversary, like Illmatic. This year gonna be the 30 year anniversary at Ready to Die. Last year was like the 30 year anniversary uh into the Wu Tang. Right. When you think about that, not the 20 anniversary, 30 year anniversary. Right. That's wild, man. Yeah, you right. Yeah, I mean, speaking of you, you already mentioned Big and Pac. Uh, Big came in at eight, Pac at fifteen. Hmm. I know some people might want to put him higher. Well, well, who, who, who's the other four people that came before him at? There were 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, we got ten Kendrick, eleven Beanie Siegel, twelve Rakim, thirteen Pusha T, fourteen Red Man. Um. I don't think any of them come before Pac. Okay. Any of them don't come before Pac. And what people got, I don't think any of them come before Pac. I mean, you know, we we Philly, so Beans is on there. You know what I'm saying? So we got Beans is on there because Beans, well, let me talk about Pac first and then, then, I'll, then, I'll, then I'll speak on Beans. Um, A lot of people got to understand that, yeah, that was the height of Tupac's popularity is when he was on death row. But that's not where his career started. True. You know what I mean? True. He True. had he he had a lot of good music before he even got to death row. True. You know what I mean? He was already on his revolutionary joint. You know what I'm saying? He was already putting messages in the music. You know what I mean? Brenda's got a baby. Holler if you hear me. Right. The stuff that people complaining about now, he was making songs about that then in the early 90s, man. Yep. He was doing that stuff 30 years ago. He was making records like that. So yeah. he always been conscious, you know what I'm saying, about yeah. the music that he wanted to put out. Yeah, so his career did not start at death row. Right. 
You know what I mean? It did not start at death row. You know I mean, a lot of y'all need to go back and listen to some of them albums, some of the music he made before All Eyes on Me. You know what I mean? He been putting messages in his music, and he been like get get getting his point across. And we understand that people, cause cause, cause people, um, Judge he put people on the list based on different things. No, he wasn't no super lyrical miracle rapper that used a, a, a million different words and all this and that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he one of them people that he was lyrical though. Right. He may not been super. I'm not no. I'm I'm not, I'm not I'm not no barbarian. Right. But I am lyrical and I'm putting the message in it. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, that, and that's what you love. The that's what people love about Pop. You know I'm mean? his spirit, his aura. You yeah, know what I mean? He, he was he was he was beyond his time. Yeah. So he's beyond his time. Yeah. So that right there. So, and then you got, um. Push your T's on there. Yeah, push at thirteen. Put pushes pushes nice. He just don't have. He just don't have enough. You know what I'm saying? He's I'm a, he's more like a boutique type rapper. You know what I mean, I come around every few years, drop what I drop, but you love him for it. But it's just not a lot of it. Right, I got you. You know what I mean? It's just not a lot of it. Right. Ain't nobody that hear him ever wants to say that he he's not dope. He's dope as fuck. I mean, come on, like, 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 be for real, right? Love pusher, you know what I mean? But um, I just don't think he got the output. But at the same time, that also, to me, because that's what most people say, yo, he just don't, he just don't have enough material, he just don't have enough for catalog. You know what I mean? They just don't hear him enough. Is but it at the is same it, time? Is it catalog and impact? Because we can say the same thing about Big. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get into that in a minute. Go ahead. But that's the same. But at the same time, that also, that also like to the credit that he can come around and don't have to be around all the time. And then when I come out, right, right, that attests to how dope he is. Right. That I don't have to always be around. I can dip out for a few years, and you cannot hear not a verse from me. Right. You might go a whole year and don't even hear a verse from him. Right. You know what I mean? So, that attests to how, like, dope, dope he is to where is yeah, people, pe- people don't want to complain about him is, yo, he just, yo, he just, he just didn't make enough music over the years. But that could be the allure, though. Sometimes, you know what I mean? You, you hear too much of a motherfucker and you get tired yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and then that's what, and that's another thing of... Why, um, what was I going to say? Um, you get the beans. Yes. We, we're from Philly, so we are pro beans here. Yeah. Know what I mean? Beans really gave you like, it was like, it was like lyrical street rap. But even though like, you got like, like Mob Deep gave you like lyrical street rap, but Beans also gave you lyrical street rap. But he was more of a like, it was more like gorilla style. I can't I can't explain it, but it's like he was lyrical even though he was super street. You know what I mean? He was like lyrical with it. Mm-hmm. It was like a lot of deep thought with it, even though it was some street shit. You could tell it was like deep thought with it. Yeah, that was kind of like his style. So, um, yeah, we got to make sure, you know what I mean? We give, we give him his flowers, you know what I'm saying? Because right. like I said, as time go on, people just move on and then whatever the new school is now. No, nah, Beans was like, Beans, Beans was different, man. He really was different. A lot of people don't understand that because like I said, a lot of people was younger that they, you know what I mean? That are grown now, you know, in the early 20s, but they was, they was from babies or before they was even born. Remember, they came out. In the late nineties, a lot of people that's probably listening to this, a lot of people listening to this probably weren't even born. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, when he came out, he like helped like solidify that, you know, um, Philly, Philly's still here. Now, now I mean we, we started getting people, you know what I mean, to, to, to the mainstream. Because in like maybe like the mid-90s and all that, 
you had like rappers, but there wasn't nobody really too much hitting the mainstream. You know what I mean? Shout out to the shows, you know, like Urban Expressions, the Avenue and stuff like that, that that helped showcase the uh the town in Philly. But like we got like people to the mainstream. And we got like beans, um, major figures. Eve. Eve. We started getting like them to like the mainstream. That was like a great time mm-hmm. for Philly hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it helped. And then you gotta give credit to like a lot of them made it made it cool to be a rapper here in Philly. Right, facts. Cause before that, if you told somebody that you rapped. You got laughed at. Yeah, like, yo, what is you talking about? You know what I mean? We don't not, we don't rap here. I mean, right. I mean, us even as like kids are like teenagers. When somebody it's like now, now you can go down any block and, and ask somebody to, to spit something and they gonna spit. Back then it was like maybe when I was in high school, it was maybe like three people in the whole school that rapped. Right. It was barely anybody rapping. So, you know, our mentality, like I said, here in Philly, we adopt the street culture with any with everything. Right. Even if you're not a street person, a hood person, you still have the mentality. Like if you said you rapped, what you rapping for? You better figure out how to make some money, even as kids. You better figure out how to get this bread, man. You try to figure out how to make this money, man. Right. We ain't got nothing. You said he ain't here rapping. Right. How nigga think he is? He ain't here rapping. You know what I'm saying? So what when they when they came along, man, it was like they helped usher in that, yo, okay, we can get back to hip hop now. Cause a lot of, I mean, it was a lot of underground artists here and local artists here, and they kind of took it to the mainstream. So we do have to give them that whole wave of getting us to the mainstream. Because we was always respected as rapping, but like the 90s, it kind of like died down. It was like the people, some people came out in the 80s. You know what I mean? Will Smith, Schooly D, right. Three Times Dope, and all, you know what I mean? And then like in the 90s, it kind of calmed down because it was all about, you know what I mean? You had local, you had like local rappers that didn't make it past local because we was just, we just had the street mentality. We just breeding more goddamn drug dealers than rappers. Right. So, and then now they kind of like made it to where it is. They they helped open that door to well now where everybody raps now. You right. know what I'm saying? Or, right. or you have that outlet because it was a time and like when you, if you said that in Philly that you rapped, People be like, dog, what you wasting your time doing that for, right. bro? You better figure out how we're going to get to get this money. He in here. He over here rapping. He sitting around here with a notebook writing rhymes down, dog. Right. How we going to get this paper? That was the mentality. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to them. You know what I mean? Shout, shout out to him being, 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 a, being a, a, a major part of that movement. And then him being with Rockefeller and help. You know what I mean? Them being Rockefeller, you know, that was even better. Yeah. So... He gave, he gave him an imprint, you know what I'm saying, of, you know what I mean, I think when Beans went to rock, that shit put, put people on notice like, yo, we can't just fuck with them, it, that shit gotta be correct. Because really, they was like one of them labels nobody never challenged. I mean, of course, we know the locks did they shit, locks don't give a fuck about nobody though. But like, nobody really challenged them. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, they was, I mean... Who was really around to do that? They was cool with Rough Rides. They was cool with Murder Inc. And those was like the big people. And then, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, I mean, we kind of. Well, we becoming like the locks of podcasting. You think so? I don't know. Because. Just don't give a fuck, huh? Like, yeah, like, I I'm, yeah, that's just starting to get in that mood. Like, and people recognizing that, all right, they good. Me, don't fuck with them. Right. Just don't give a fucking shit. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck what your studio look like or fucking right. what, what the hell you got on, nigga. Yeah, you gonna, it's going to be a long day. You come fucking with us, bro. Yeah, right. With this content shit. Right. This, you have a long day. Yeah. You going to have a long day. That's, I please, think that's why a lot of niggas don't. just respect the styles. Like you said, you didn't have to be lyrical. My man just like, I don't give a fuck who you are. So fuck who you are. You just yeah, started like yeah. that. Like, and my yeah. motherfuckers respect that shit. Him, him and Beans was like, <laughs> gorilla. They was like, they, they was gorilla dudes. They was lyrical gorillas. Yeah, they was aggressive, dog. You know what I'm saying? They was like lyrical gorillas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. They style was like, yeah. They style was like some gorilla shit, but they was like lyrical with it. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, folks like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that right there, man. Um, yeah, yeah, man. So that's what I was. Yeah, I was thinking like, 
I mean, I mean, not to brag, but you know, people know we kind of good. I think, I think we established that we kind of good at this. Yeah. So please don't think because you sit, you sit in a nice ass studio, and you know, y'all got them fancy outfits on that you can fuck with us. You can't. <laughs> please don't. We can't. Yeah. You might be the voice of the people, man. You think the people like? You think the people just need like direction now, like? We so torn, like, you know what I'm saying? Back and forth, whatever. If a motherfucker on the mic can say something, you can sway the people any kind of way. You think you the people just need direction? You might be the boy like on Black Judas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna die, no car crash. I ain't gonna die, no plane wreck. You know what I mean? You might be that boy. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna die for the people because I love the people. My man be saying that shit. I be, I be in the audience looking like the chick he got pregnant like, you about to fuck this money up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you never know, like, because people just need direction. People just need direction. Like, we, we started the episode talking about the Trump rally. People just, lit, it's some people that just long to be led. They just want to be led. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That, I mean, shit, you could be the voice of the people. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, you know, everybody, man, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for, like I said, not I mean, really messing with us. You know what I'm saying? That's how you tell it's authentic. Like I said, Taking over the world from a room in my house. Right. That's how I know that it's authentic that y'all mess with us. It ain't we ain't got it ain't no bells and whistles here because we ain't got no bells and whistles. Not yet. See what I'm saying? So, so yeah, man, I just appreciate y'all for that. But um, like you said, you said, yeah, man. Um Oh, you just gonna you just gonna say something big at eight? Nah, big because like I said, you know what I mean? A lot of people still Put him at the top because they felt like he was he was good. He was good at everything, but you know, that was like a few years spans and as time go on, I don't know if people just gonna put continue to put him up at the top. Right. See what I'm saying? Because like I said, as time as time go on, he get further and further away from the time that he was here. You know what I mean? It's, it, it 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 really it really wasn't it really wasn't much of a long, enough catalog. Right. So I wouldn't be surprised if time go on, people start taking them out of that. Yeah. They got Black Thought at number five. You, you, see, what I'm, you see what I'm saying? I want people to understand what I'm saying when I say that. Because like I said, time goes on. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, so a lot of people may say, well, he, his run was only a few years. He did a lot in that few year run. Yeah. But as time go on, people might stop like putting him in there. Yeah. And start putting, because people like be upset like, Yo, why they got J. Cole and Kendrick on there? Because as time go on, their careers get longer and longer. And the generation who started listening, you know what I mean? That they're the voice of a certain generation. Right. As time go on, they start putting them in the greatest list. The greatest list can't just be the greatest to us, and that's it. Right. And time is going on. So that's why people be upset whenever they see Kendrick's name anywhere. But you gotta understand, Kendrick got at this point, he got what, 10 plus years in now, right? Mm-hmm. So so he is that for some people. You can't say somebody got 10 plus years, can't be on the list, but then we keep putting, I mean, everybody was picked big at the top and now big don't even got 10 years in. Right. You just, I just want people to understand that. Because people automatically, as soon as soon as somebody sees, soon as somebody sees J. Cole's name or Kendrick's name, they be like, yo, what's, what type of list is this? You got to understand that they've been putting in time. A lot of them done put in time. At this point, they done put in more time than not to say that they they had the same impact as Big or Pac, but they done put more years in than Big or Pac at this point. Yeah, they put in more time, and this is their time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's why we just got to be fair all the way around. You got to stop and understand that, right. you know, this is not them. I mean, it's not the night like we sitting here and it's the nineties and we're making the list of who's out now. You know what I mean? Right. So that's why people be like, well, how, how how's how's Kendrick making the list? Because that's what Kendrick is for a lot of people. Kendrick is like how we view Nas. That's how people view Kendrick Hell from yeah. this younger generation. Hell yeah. Kendrick is their Nas. You know what I mean? So Hell yes. yeah. You're right about that. Yeah, so that right there. Yeah, Whoa. man. Uh, you know, what you think about Stack Bundles being on the list at 42? Stack Bundles on the list. Stack Bundles going too soon, man. Right. Love, love Stack Bundles, man. You know what I mean? 
That shit is trash. <laughs> That's cla- classic DVD joint, man. <laughs> know what I mean? Y'all niggas, y'all niggas is trash. Yeah, man. Know what I mean? A lot of y'all don't know nothing about the DVD movement. A lot of y'all wasn't there for DVDs, man. A lot of y'all was not there for the DVDs, man. man. DVD Listen, era? Only thing you can hope Same is that a lot of that stuff was uploaded for YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Some of the stuff is on there. Some, yeah, some, some of the stuff is on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot. Yeah, man. You got to watch. Yeah. yeah that was man. a movement too, man. Yeah, the man. DVD Stack. era? Oh, my goodness. Stack was... <laughs> Stack was a dude that was like, he was he he was lyrical street dude, but he had like he had like a smooth style about him, man. And I don't think that he got, like I said, man, going too soon, man. And he wasn't able to get get like. I feel like he was he was getting his time. He was getting respect in the underground and all that. Like I said, the DVDs and all that, and the mixtapes. But to right. get like his time in the mainstream. I felt like, now I'm saying he's going too soon. Well, I'm not, not talking about music. He's going too soon, period. Now I mean, I'm pretty sure, now, now I mean, so condolences to his family and his loved ones. But Stack was nice, man. Yeah, he was. He was nice. He was. He was. So people putting him on his list let you know that we got dudes that really, that that really listen to everything on every level. Not just whatever was getting, they was getting hit upside with hit with on the radio all day long. Right. Because Stack was one of them dudes that was nice, man. He was nice. You know what I mean? That's one of the greatest DVD joints of all time. He said, y'all niggas is trash. That's one of the greatest DVD <laughs> joints of all time, man. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Stack. That, that definitely was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? He was. Uh, any other standouts you, know I mean? you want to speak on? I can't I can't remember everybody that's on the list. Like like I said, I think uh, Coogee Rap being in the 30s is too low. Coogee Coo- Rap at 31, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because cause Coogee Rap kind of like helped birth the whole like lyric, being a lyrical street dude. Right. You know what I mean? He's he one of like the pioneers of that. He's one of the forefathers of, you know what I mean? Like, like, like the whole style of like how like the whole Queensbridge style. They was like lyrical street dudes. A lot of dudes was lyrical street dudes. I think, you know what I mean? He's he's like the forefather of that. Right. He's like a forefather of that. So, I mean, I feel like he should be a little higher. Um, I feel you. I understand. Now, now, I mean, they got they got Big Pun on here, which, like I said, you yeah. know what I mean? Pun was 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 thorough, man. Pun was next level, but he said you didn't get you you, 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 you didn't get but a few years. Right. You know what I mean? Because he's another one that's going too soon. Right. So so you didn't get a lot of so so you didn't get a lot of catalog out of him. Even though what he did is was, was super dope when you go back oh, and listen shit, to it. My bad. The game is 45. Oh, the game on there. Okay. I'm bugging that's out. What's that's, up. What, yeah. that's what's up. That's what's up. I'm about to see yeah, yeah, because I'm like, all right, these West Coast cats and they ain't got game on it. Yeah, the game is 45. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Good. 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 Yeah. Good. Okay. That makes yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm about to say, like, yo, game, yo, game. Game can rap. Game was another dude that he can give you. He he oh. He can give you a whole mixtape and give you a whole album. Right. You know what I mean? And can just give you a freestyle. Right. You know what I mean? Just because. Right. So. Listen, he kept he kept the coast re- relevant at a time where, you know what I'm saying, wasn't nobody really doing nothing. You know what I mean? Same same thing like you said for Beans. You know what I mean? When Beans and them came up, you know what I mean? He, he, he kept us relevant when really wasn't nobody else doing nothing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so he came, yeah, so he came through like along in the drought. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure West Coast probably got a lot of um, underground dudes, a lot of dudes, because it's a lot of underground dudes everywhere. You know what I'm True. saying? True. Yeah, it's all underground dudes, dudes everywhere that was looked at that may stay low. They may not made it to the mainstream, and everybody know them. But you know, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I was like, damn, game not on there. Nah, man. Right. You got, you got West, you got West Coast dudes making a listen. They don't put game on there. Um. I said, man, yeah. Um, who else? Who else is down there? Um, they got the game above 50. Why? Well, I mean, I got so they West Coast. They West Coast base. Yeah, hey, I'm saying I understand that. My bad. I mean, yeah, so all right. Yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I get it. Yeah, I can see that. I get it because to me, 50 a dude that did what he had to do. 50, 50, 50 was never no barbarian. No. 
You know what I mean? Fifty's not a barbarian. You know what I mean? He made these. He made decent joints. He made decent mixtape joints. He was solid, and he made them. He made them hit records. So he did what he had to do to get where he needed to go. And he was a hell of a businessman. Yeah, he was a hell of a businessman. Remember the whole the whole promo on you know what I mean, get rich or die trying was. He was like, I got the I got the hairstylist. Yeah, you know I mean, he's gonna be on the album that 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 that, that uh, you know what I mean, mess with you. That was the whole thing, and everybody that was the allure of the album. Like, oh, I gotta hear, yeah, you know I mean, I gotta hear what they gonna say. So, hell of a businessman, hell of a businessman. Yeah, so that right there, um, yeah. So, I mean, it's not a lot of the names on there makes sense to be on there. I feel you. Yeah, a lot of the names on there makes sense to be on there. Um, Scarface is on there, right? Yes, sir. Face is... No, I was just looking at where Face was at. Face is 16. Okay. Yeah. Face Mob. Yeah, 16. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? It makes sense. So, it's like, you know, uh, uh, Eric, you know, the, the, the list, the, the names on the list still... The list still somewhat makes sense, even though it's the input of a lot of people put together. You know what I mean? For the most part, yeah, it makes sense. Right. It makes sense. I mean, I, I mean, I agree with with everybody that, that where people place that, but the people that's on there, I get it, man. It makes sense. All right. So what else? Hey, right, you, so you gonna make this a two parter? Cause I didn't. We we did. You did a whole hour just on that one. Um, I don't know what I mean. Why not? Um, uh, I feel you. So. Um, with that in closing, man, shout shout to y'all that made the list. And um, listen, the comments and all that gonna be crazy. People gonna agree, people gonna disagree. Right. Like I said, that's not our list. This is a list from a um from barbershop on the West Coast. Shout out to them. Um. And yeah, man, y'all just whatever y'all comment on, whatever. You know what I mean, whatever y'all agree with, whatever y'all don't disagree with. You know what I mean. Hit us up in the comments and all that and let everybody know. Yeah. So 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 that right there. So we got done with that list. Shout out to them for sending that list in. Definitely. You know what I mean? Shout out <laughs> to them. But so um